Hello my friends. Storing food, possibly the best way to store it is to dehydrate the food. So what you're going to do is go from this, which is fresh, to dried right here. And this will keep for a very long time. Now, the problem that you run into is you need to know how to use this, how to reconstitute the dried item uh, to be used in your cooking. Um, you have to do this process with about anything that you're drying so you know what the equivalent will be. In this case, we are using rhubarb. We're going to dry rhubarb. Rhubarb is similar to a celery stalk and it contains approximately 90 to 95 percent water, if not even more. So when you go from fresh to dry, we're going to approximately 0% water. So the volume is extremely reduced. So uh, this is going to be, if you're measuring this, the uh, measurement will be very small compared to the measurement of fresh. So two important things that you need to know or do is you need to measure both the weight and the volume of the fresh and then after it's dried you repeat the process you measure the weight and the volume of the dried and then from that you can come up with an equivalent of a measurement and a equivalent of what water needs to be added to the dry to reconstitute. First thing that we have to do is we cut this into its usable uh, size. Prepping, we want to discard some of the ends that won't be usable. And then we're going to cut this. We're cutting this into the chunks that we would bake with. And with this, I'll be making jams and strawberry rhubarb pie. Now this could be used fresh, but I'm thinking of winter storage. The container that you're going to use, since we have to weigh the... Uh, rhubarb. We're going to put the container on the scale and then we are going to zero it out. We're making that container invisible. Now when we put the rhubarb in there we'll see what the actual weight will be. Now the base measurement I'm going to use a quart. So I have a quart jar trying to get most of the air space out. Okay, the quart measurement is going to be right at this point. Okay, now we're going to measure, weigh this. Okay, our quart jar. Jar's been zeroed out. It's 0.93 pounds. So, pretty close to one pound. We'll make a note of that, 0.93. I'm using this dehydrator. It works good on items like this. And it looks like we can get one quart on a tray. So we'll do it again. Each layer will have one quart. And to get a good average, I'm going to weigh each one of these full quarts. Second quart, 0.98. Third jar, 1.01. .01. Jar number four,
number three, 0 0.085, number two, 0 0.06, number one, 0.055. Here's the result of our test. Okay, the uh, weight of the fresh per quart comes out real close to one pound. And then when we dehydrated, we ended up with, instead of a quart, a half of a cup. But the average weight is close to uh, 0 0.07. Pounds. Okay, when you uh, calculate the amount of water displaced, it comes out pretty close to 0.9, well, it comes out to 0.935. We need to see the volume of 0.935. That's the water. One cup, almost two cups. That is approximately one-eighth of a cup. Basically it's two cups minus one-eighth. Volume of the water and to this weight it came out to real close to two cups. Two cups minus one-eighth cup. So that's for a half of a cup of dried rhubarb. So this can be done with anything that you're drying to get an idea of the water displacement, water that you need to replenish the dried item. Right here, this is the two cup mark. So it's pretty accurate that we could say that a half a cup dried equals one quart of fresh and that would be the averaging the four of them that we dried. I hope this video was informative and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.